hello and welcome back everyone so in this first video what we are going to do is first we will replace the mongo container with mysql so that is uh, simple what we will do is we will just copy the db container okay and we will just replace this uh, mongodb container because now we will be talking to mysql not mongodb and this is the volume mapping for it and instead of db we can just put it as mysql and dependency will be on mysql okay this is the first thing now we can also do the cleanup i mean we don't need this order product and uh, modules we can remove them swagger we need here module we still need models we don't need because now we are going to use uh, mysql entities guards we can just create a uh, different folders and here let's create uh, our other modules which are so we are going to create a user post and comment so let's say I'm going to write a comment routes so post routes so post module a uh, comment module and in the shared module I will be able to do the Shared things like interceptors, user service, and all. And I will also be having one database module. And just to add on, I will have a one config module. So till now, we were just passing the config from process.env. Instead of that, we can have a config module and we can inject the config module at the runtime and we can get the required arguments. Okay, we already have a, we can also create a logger. So we are going to the advanced level where we are going to talk about a lot of new different things. Okay, now, yeah, so from next video what we will do is we will write our configurations. So in the configurations, uh, it will be just a plain and simple configuration which will have the database details, environment details and all. We will write a config service. So in config we can create a defaults. Defaults will be like config.defaults.ts. If you are not able to get any defaults, then DB is undefined. So, database is a MySQL database, environment is null. And we will write a config interface. Config interface will have a mapping of all the things which we are going to have in our application, like uh, MySQL information, username, password, all. So, we can create a config interface. And here we can just define config db data. This is going to have all the MySQL configurations and all. I'll just copy this. So this is our database configurations we have created, and this is our main config data interface. So this is optional. I mean this can be undefined log level can be info log one okay config data will have all these attributes so while connecting to mysql we need to have a host port mysql username password dialect character set and call it okay so what we will do in the next video we will write our config service config service will be able to provide us the mysql object mysql connection object based on the environment if you are passing a dev QA, uh, or if you are not passing any environment then what will be the default configuration so it will be picking up all these configurations from the dot env so here we need to add all the required argument like mysql user password database all these things in the env we can clean this up for now we are not using mongo okay so we will add other things in the mysql dot env file so i think we should have a env dot example you know that example should contain all the other configurations which we have for mysql it can be simple these arguments this is a db type port port we already have so we can skip that yeah mysql db port db host db and all these things character set and dialect now what we need to do is we need to get these uh, configurations from d.env and the config service will return as the config object that we will see in the next video.